video, you can see I've already done some stuff. I'm reviewing. This is a first impression and I think a last impression because I've really tried very, very, like a lot. I've tried a lot and it's just not working. Um, I'm so disappointed. The Conair Infinity Pro uh, airbrush. I was really excited because you know an airbrush is supposed to like, you know when people round brush their hair? And I've been looking at a couple of round brush videos and I saw some on 4C hair. I remember I already have a straightening fill. I'm going to link it down below where I tried to round brush and bro dry my hair, my 4C hair. Um, honestly, I've already tried to round brush and I had a fail. So I'm like, oh my gosh, why don't I just buy a round brush? that I don't have to actually spin. Maybe my problem is I don't have enough muscle power, right? So this one, wait, it's not on. I tried over here and the ends will get kind of okay, but the body is just not. And I use heat protectant, always using my heat protectant. It's supposed to get it straight, okay, and it's not. And it's just not straight enough. You know what I'm saying? For this effort, I might as well do it the traditional way where you just blow dry it and then, um, what do you call it? Blow dry and then flat iron. So let me show you me just using it. Uh, it has a high setting, a low setting, and a cool setting. I put it on high because this is kinky, kinky hair. Okay, high. And then you use That's what I'm saying. I'm not going to do my whole head because I did it over here and look at this piece right here and it's poofed out. Okay, this piece is better, but look, it's still not straight. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I have to try. I've been over it a million, a gajillion times. And I think that's pretty good. Like, if I wrapped it, this is the whole point. I think if it was like this straight, I could like wrap it. But look, it's still poofy inside. You know what I'm saying? And I'm okay, so I just finished doing this section in the front. And I think it did a pretty good job. Especially if I didn't have any castor oil in my hair, which is a humectant. So I think if I make sure I don't have any humectants in my hair, that this is really good. And I think it's probably worth it considering that it's less heat. So I don't know. I don't know if it's... I'm at a loss right now because it's difficult for me to use. It grabs other pieces of hair. I would have to be really like meticulous about keeping everything back, back calliope, you know, like back. And it's difficult to keep the other hair back on each little section. I do have to like keep it like super tight back. And I guess that's not the biggest deal. It can be done. Um, is it easy? Definitely not. I think, and it's gentle on my roots, like the heat is not burning me on my roots. So I really like that. I think I really, I think I like it. I think it's a definite contender. Um, the hair feels very smooth. This is just a first impression review. I do like it. It's difficult. The learning curve is very difficult, very steep learning curve. But I think once you get over that learning curve, that it can be done. There's a skill to it though, you guys. And I think it's worth it, consider, but it takes so much time. That's it. So I would give this a 3.5 thus far. Let's see how my whole head looks when I eventually like straighten my hair with it. I don't know. I don't know if it's 
the ability of the straightener or if it's the fact that I have castor oil in my hair. I really don't know, but I'm about to wash my hair. I'm not liking this one, but again, tons of glycerin, that's what, tons of castor oil, that's what castor oil does. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, this review, and I will see you on the next video.